Hey everyone, what's up? Sam Burpro here. Now, today I'm going to be actually showing you guys something a little bit different. It's not scripting, it's not technically a part of the uh, RPG Maker VXA tutorials, only because I can't really find, like, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to make a Season 5 yet, but when I do, this will probably be added to it. But anyways, this is how to make, like, different enemies in different locations on a world map. So this is, like, the proper way to set up uh, enemies on a world map. Alright, so, first... You know, I think you can use nothing as well, but first thing you want to do is go to the region, or by pressing F7, and you'll see, like, all these kinds of numbers. This basically represents, it's like a variable. Like, you know, if you're in this area, then a different monster will appear. So, we're going to mark grassy lands, or grassy lands, grasslands, uh, with ones. And you don't, you know, you don't really have to, like, worry about getting it in the water, but I am going to do something a little bit different with the water. So, here, we go to the ones if we drag it okay so I got the uh, the whole island selected here with ones I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up this island now and all right so there's that island there's this island we got to do so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it until you know I get all these islands the basic areas like uh, filled up with ones so give me a moment here Okay, so for the sake of it not being a really long uh, recording, I am going to just use 1 and 2 for these examples, but do remember you can also fill in other areas with higher numbers, etc., and I'm going to fill in the water with, well, you can fill in the water if you want, I'm not going to do that because that's like, that would take way too long, but uh, you can fill in the water with a number as well so you can have water enemies, but, so, that or I think you can leave it blank, let's see something here. There is a massive termite on my screen. Okay, so um, anyways, what you want to do is over here on the encounters and your map settings, your map properties, you'll see how you can have a troop and you can have the weight. The weight is the value that affects the frequency at which this encounter item is employed. What that basically means is if you have um, two different random enemy encounters on um, on like the same region, which we're gonna, which I'm gonna explain here, then whatever the higher one is will be the more the battle that gets, you know, seen more. The enemies that you run into the most. So the region ID, we're going to say 000, which is going to be the water. We're going to have, oops, we don't want slimes up here in the water. What we want is jellyfish. Let's say there's jellyfish all up in the water. Now we're going to do this again, and we're going to do, uh, instead we're going to do one, because one is the grassland, so there's going to be, let's say slimes. You can say bats too if you want. Anything you want. And finally, last but not least, uh... Let's see. What's a good uh, snow enemy? Screw it. Vampires, because vampires love snow. So yeah, in your snow area, you can have... Just set this all to two. You can have kind of different enemies in the snow area as well. Uh, you can also kind of have it in, in a total of three areas. So you can have like the same enemy, uh, like slime, for example, in area 0, 1, and 2. Anything you want to. So that's basically how you set up enemy encounters on a random map. Now, if you didn't set anything for zero at all, like if you don't have anything on zero, if you're out in the water, you're not going to run into a battle at all. Like anything that's not marked, there's a massive termite on my arm. <sighs> anything that's not marked will not be encountered if you don't have anything set to zero. So I hope this really helps you guys, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.